Hello guys, I am back again, still updating you with the breaking trending news what is going on in Nigeria. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay guys, um, we are still talking about 2023 election and Peter will be personally. Okay, um, you have seen on your screen, I quickly want to share this with you because um, the support from uh, Peter Obi's scam is so massive. And many people is um, also bringing, his, uh, bringing up his achievement for others to see. Okay, um, trending, did you know why Peter Obi was impeached as a governor after seven months in office? Okay, um, first of all, I want to talk about um, Shawere. What Amoy Ele Shawere says about um, Peter Obi, uh, that Peter Obi and the Labour Party has no structure, just because personally I feel it is out of jealousy. Yes, let us uh, not hide our sentiment. It is out of jealousy. I mean, Omo Ele Shawere has seen the massive support from Nigerian youth, especially from the celebrities. To Peter Obi. This is the same memorial election that was chased out uh, during NSA's protest. They didn't allow him. You know, he, he was thinking he will hijack the NSA's protest uh, after his uh, revolution now uh, protest, but he saw uh, what happened during the NSA's protest with organizers being anonymous. Unlike uh, Revolution Now, and everybody knew that Omo Ele Shawere was the convener of Revolution Now, but uh, NSA's protest, it was anonymous. Everybody came out, you know, to express their feelings. So there was a video trending when Omo Ele Shawere wanted to act as if he's one of the NSA's uh, convener, supporting NSA's movement, and so on. But they didn't allow him uh, to partake as any convener of NSA's movement. So that was by the way. So Amor Yelisha was like, what is the structure of Peter OB? What is what is the structure of Labour Party? And Nigerian youth keep replying Amor Yelisha that they are the structure of Peter OB. I mean, this is one man that popularity is growing like wildfire without any, you know, bribe and whatsoever. I shared a video for you guys when the youth even took it to Bia Palos, singing Peter will be carry me the go. Yes, without anybody mobilizing anybody, unlike other political party, people believe, as in, this is the problem with Nigerian youth. They believe this is uh, the time they should make money from politicians and so on. Sometimes you see most of them uh, organizing themselves going to receive a politician at the airport, knowing that they will come home with at least 1,000 naira. I mean, poverty mentality. So average Nigerian youth believe that this is the time they should make money from uh, these so-called, uh, personally, I don't call them rich politicians. For me, I will call them thieves, okay? So um, Peter B is not mobilizing anybody. People are even sponsoring movement for him. Whenever he speaks on an interview, Peter Obi will tell you, go to Anambra State and verify. But Omo Elisha Were, seriously, I, nobody have seen his track record. Yes. Then why is people calling on structure and so on? What do you mean by structure? I keep telling people that if we look beyond political party affiliation, Nigeria may be five steps ahead. Now, let me quickly give you uh, the story so far. Anambra State Lodge and Office got burned. So, this is the trending. Why Peter B was impeached as a governor after seven months. Okay, so Anambra State Governor's Lodge and Office got burned and needed renovation. So, Anambra State lawmakers padded a budget of $600 million for the renovation. Okay, so um, this is what... Uh, these politicians, especially the lawmakers, know how to do best. Okay, this is not the first time we have been getting uh, issues or hearing about issues like this padded of budget and so on, so that later on all of them will share the money. But Peter Obi said, no, a whooping 600 million cannot be expended for just renovation of two properties. 
that it is outrageous. So Peter Obi took it upon himself to make proper findings, and after everything, the two buildings were renovated with less than 120 million. So Peter Obi saved an umbra 480 million naira that would have been shared by all those corrupt lawmakers. Well, they are not only corrupt, but they are thieves. So this action infuriated the um, the then lawmakers of the State House of Assembly, and they impeached him. Yes, yeah, so that was their grievances. But the court, however, overturned the impeachment and reinstated Peter B as the governor of Anambra State. All right, and also the report says that um, Peter B was the first Anambra State governor that bought brand new vehicles for judges and lecturers. Then according to him, he used only one pejot during his time as a governor. All right, so that is another success story from Peter Obi. Yes, so sometimes I begin to wonder the reason why these politicians may not really love Peter Obi, especially even his brothers, the South East governors themselves. Imagine Devil Mahi saying that um, a boy instead will vote only for APC, that they will not vote. This one is not, as in, is not hidden, all right? He said publicly that a boy instead will not vote for Labour Party and Peter Obi, that a boy instead will vote for APC. I mean, this man sometimes forgets to understand that it is one man, one vote. Now, don't be surprised in 2023, most of these politicians will lose money. Nigerians will collect them that money, but will not vote for them. That is what will play. Nigerians may even campaign for these political parties, these top two political parties. But at the end of the day, Nigerians may not even vote for them. They are flag bearers, like seriously. Okay, guys, um, I quickly want to update you. Uh, Peter will be, uh, popularity is gaining momentum. And then um, also to share the success story of Peter Obi, the reason why he was impeached by his lawmaker after seven months as an Ambra state governor. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this, because each time Peter Obi appears on interview, he will be telling Nigerians to go and verify. And nobody has come out to debunk any claim that Peter Obi lied about everything he says, both on the social media and the mainstream media. However, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of story to share with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your bell notification so you get updates whenever I publish a new video for you guys. See you guys in another update.